Hey Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arise, and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today's topic is what do you need to hear right now, okay? Remember that this is a collective reading. It may or may not resonate with you fully. You can check out my playlist for additional collective reads. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. Remember that Tear It could play out past, present, or future, all right? Now, I want to thank you all so much for all of the likes and subscribe to the channel, as well as all of the tips and donations. It is greatly appreciated. So, Spirit, please and thank you. What can I tell all my Aquariuses out there? Hmm. There's the Sun card. It's the famous. So, you're going to be seeing a lot, Okay. Or you are already been seen in the limelight, okay? But you're happy about this, okay? A cycle is being completed here with brunch, okay? It's like you're starting to be happy now, okay? Before, you could have been getting the short end of the stick and people just ignoring you. And, you know, I feel like you had bad dealings with people. And, it, you, you know, you weren't happy with that. But you're completing that cycle now. You're completing this cycle of lack or for a better turn, for a better turn, unhappiness. You're closing that cycle. You're opening up a new cycle, okay, that has to do with sheer fucking happiness. And here we have the magician. You're fully capable of ushering this into your life with the programmer here. Fully capable of it, okay? You have all the tools, all right? Some of you could have not yet reached this stage and you're trying to figure out like, shit, can I really pull this off with the tower here, with the glass ceiling, okay? It's it's causing you to shatter old belief patterns. With a glass ceiling, it's like you can look out of the ceiling. The sky is the limit. You are fully capable of ushering in this new cycle into your life of sheer happiness, and you're going to enjoy it when it comes. Here we have the Hierophant. Okay, you're going to attract a lot of people that are going to ask, how did you do this, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Horizon? How did you get so happy? How did you level up? And how did you get so successful? People want to know. People want to know about you. All right? Hmm. I feel like you're going to have a lot of people drawn to you. You're going to have a lot of connections coming towards you. A lot of people that want to have a higher commitment with you. People are going to look towards you for advice as well. So let's delve deeper. Please and thank you, Spirit. Here we have the Ten of Cups. Ultimate happiness. Ultimate fulfillment for you. For a lot of you... You're moving into a family situation for sure. Or you're moving into a more home-like situation, okay? With the Ace of Wands. Before, you could have felt kind of scattered and, you know, um, energy not really all within you. Like that cozy, warm, home-like feeling. It's almost the energy of fight or flight. Your root chakra could have been very unbalanced at the time, okay? Okay. But know that you're ushering in this new beginning. Know that your power and your energy is going to be reclaimed. Okay. Somebody here. Why am I hearing the mark of Buddha? Okay. So somebody may wear the mark of Buddha. Others of you. Mm, I'm even hearing mandalas. May be significant for you. Mantras. As well as evil eye. So. Any of those things apply to you. Smash that like button. There is something here for you. So let's delve deeper. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles. Working hard. I just heard or hardly working. But shit, at least you showed up. You had all the tools you need. I mean, it's not like you got to go outside of yourself to perform this. You're fully capable. With the Six of Swords here. You're looking at the task ahead and you're moving away. What it is, is you're moving towards, I'm hearing success and abundance, all right? 
and happiness. That's really what it is. For a lot of you, you want success and abundance and you're going to get that. With the Two of Swords here, you could be blocking out all negativity. And with the Empress here, you're really embodying this Empress energy, whether you're male or female, but this is the energy of yin and it attracts the very energy that it is because likes attract within the universe. So you're stepping up, embodying this Hierophant-like energy, okay? The yoga instructor is very poised, has learned the lessons. That's why they're an instructor. People go to them. Some of you may literally be an instructor of some type or moving into that role. Mm -hmm. With the Empress at the bottom, you're going to attract a lot of abundance, okay? With the Five of Swords, you're going to have a lot of competition, fighting over you, fighting for your time. Protect your energy, though, as well as you go into this new stage. What wants to show itself is the hermit. It's because you've went within. You've done the work. You've done the work, and now abundance flows towards you. See, with the Five of Swords here, it's letting me know that you fought to get here. It wasn't anything simple, and it wasn't anything easy. But nonetheless, you're here. And with the Three of Wands, you know that you put in some work for sure. There's nothing wrong with that. With the seven of wands, you're willing to protect this. So, like I said, protect your energy, but you kind of already know that. With the queen of pentacles, I see you wearing multiple hats, moving towards success, notoriety with the seven, with the six of wands here. Be mindful of that, that you're going to be very successful. Okay, the hard work is paying off. You're entering into a new cycle. What else can I tell Aquarius? Sun, Moon, and Rising, please, and thank you. One more, please. Thank you. So the bottom deck that we have here is Carrot, Opportunity, or Windfall, because it's coming towards you, Aquarius. I wouldn't even lie to you. But what's this shark about? We have take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Protect your energy. You're going to have a lot of people coming towards you. This one is a short self, period. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. Maybe that's why everybody's running towards you. Because everybody know you got some money or something, some type of success, okay? But hard work ahead. This was that hard work that you did that's paying off. It says... Someone will try to make you do something against your will. That's probably why you, um, well, that's probably why this person goes to tell all of your secrets in some type of way. You cut someone off. Yeah, a two-faced friend. We even have lightning. Control your anger or you'll be sorry. Protect your energy, okay? And all that you work for, you've come too far it says successful successfully overcoming a problem and we even have an arrogant boastful person you should not cross so somebody is crossing you and they shouldn't or vice versa i say don't feed into anybody's energy okay that's trying to pull you away from your abundance your success protect your energy okay that's really the main thing here and success and abundance is yours already you're stepping into a new phase in your life aquarius so i'm on a rise and you should be very proud of yourself so if this message resonated with you smash that like button and if you want to see more reads like this one smash that like button thank you for your love and support tips and donations to this channel once it in peace and love